Hi everyone, welcome back to Friday Fun. I'm Ashley and for today's video we will be making homemade Play-Doh with Jello. So it's a five minute recipe. It requires no cooking, just a few household ingredients. Put it all together and you'll have Play-Doh that will last you up to a couple of weeks. So let's see what ingredients we need. You need one and one third cup of flour. half a cup of table salt, two tablespoons of cream of tartar, one cup of boiling water, two tablespoons, uh, sorry, one tablespoon of cooking oil. It could be olive oil or vegetable oil. And then your favorite pack of Jello mix. So let's see how we can put this together. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your flour, mix in your salt and your cream of tartar. And just give it all a stir and make sure it's well combined. So when that's all mixed, you'll put it aside and you're ready to start on your jello. All right, so for your next step, you're gonna take your boiling hot water. You're gonna add your, your jello mix to it. So just remember to be safe around the water because it's pretty hot. So you're just gonna go ahead, dump in the whole package. and give it a good stir. You just wanna make sure all of the sugar crystals are melted. And then once that's good, you can add in your oil. into your dry ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. And mix everything together. So once you got everything mixed together, all your ingredients are combined, you got all your lumps out, you can get a cutting board or just um, a table, any flat surface, put on a bit of flour, and then you're gonna dump out your Play-Doh and just knead it, um, adding small amounts of flour at a time until you get that consistency that you want. So mine's very sticky. <laughs> I'm gonna add quite a bit more flour, um, but just making the Play-Doh on its own is a fun activity to do at home. Um, it's a fun sensory activity. The Play-Doh's still a bit warm. Um, it feels really cool, uh, and you can get everyone at home involved in making your own Play-Doh. So I had to add quite a bit of flour to get it to that right consistency where it wasn't sticky anymore. Um, I think the next batch I'll make, once I've mixed it all together, I'll let it cool down before I knead it um, on my cutting board. Uh, that way I think it'll, it'll be a little bit firmer. But it smells great, uh, it smells like Jell-O. Um, so it's a lot of fun. You can make as many different batches as you want. Um, keep them in an airtight container or in a Ziploc bag um, and they'll last you a couple of weeks till a month. Have fun with your Play-Doh. Hope you guys like this one. See you next time.